Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept that is event delegation. So we have learned about the event capturing and also event bubbling phase. How to stop that bubbling and capturing phase using the stop propagation method. And also we have seen the difference between stop propagation and also the stop immediate propagation. We have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn about the another important concept that is event delegation. So what is the meaning of this event delegation? So if you are having a event handler, which should be applied to the multiple elements. Okay, the same type of event if you want to add to the multiple elements. So we need to bind each one for that one event, right? So this creates an inefficiency. So in order to over, overcome this scenario, so we will be using this event delegation. I will try to show you a simple demonstration here. So this is our simple example. Here when I am clicking on this one, what cell I am clicking, that cell is, is converting into the red color, background color. So this is the demo. Let's try to see this one. For example, if I want to add an event listener for this one, so I need to add click event listener to this element, to this element, to this element. So like this to all the nine elements, I need to apply the click event listener. So this creates the program inefficiency. Why? Because all the events it needs to listen. Instead of applying this event listener to all the individual elements, if you apply to the parent element, we can make use of this event bubbling concept, right? So let's try to use this concept. So now in order to do this demo, so let's try to remove this all code. Yeah. So here I am having the HTML. Okay. And in this body, I'll be having a table. Okay. Let's take the table. In this table, I'll be having a TR. And here I can use event delegation. And in this tier, we will be having another tier. In this TD, we will be having TD 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So this is one TD. And let's replicate this two times. 1, 2. This is a simple example. If I try to see this output, it is output. Yeah. So here we are getting huge gap, right? Because of this event delegation. So what we need to do? We need to add a call span. Call span is equal to 3. Fine, done. So then event delegation is done. So now 1, 2, and 3, we need to add it. So here you'll be having ID is equal to table. We can use it. So let's go to the style. Okay. And here I can use the table. So in this table, uh, inside this one, we will take the TD. And for the TD, what I will try to do is I will add width of 100 pixel and also height of 100 pixel and I will use background color of hash e e e or anything any color so it's a grayish color so this is the thing so I want to make this all center the content center so I can use text align center hopefully this one works yeah here I have used this one so we are able to get the output so the output we have achieved it now whenever I am clicking on this cell, so I need to convert this cell into the red color. So that, that is the task we need to do. So here for each TD, we cannot add the event listener. So if we add the event listener, we can add it, we can do it. But this creates a program inefficiency, performance inefficiency. Instead of this one, we can make use of this table. So table is the entire thing, right? So whenever you click on this TD or anything, it will bubble to the table so that the table has only the one event and table will fire this one let's try to see it. so here let's go to the script and i want to capture the table so let table is equal to document dot get element by id of hash table so i think that one is also table only id so we got the table for this table table dot add event listener of click I'm using the click element, click event listener, and here on table click, we'll use one method on table click. And here we can have a function on table click. So we got, we'll get an event. Okay. Sorry, we'll get an event. And what I will try to do, that's it. So let's try to do the console. Okay. Hi, let's use a simple hi. We'll use this hi only. All the time I used to do high only for debugging these things. Okay, so let's see that whether this table event listener is fine is firing or not. 
this is happening again we got the error okay what is the problem id is equal to document not get element oh, okay should not use the hash table sorry for query selector we need to use it yeah we got it now whenever i am clicking on this td see high is firing so that means we are the event is bubbling to the table the table has an add event listener and we are making use of this add event listener now what i want to do here so i need to catch that one so that is nothing but console.log event dot target so using this target we can able to get this element what is the element that has been uh, clicked so if i try to click on this one see td2 so like this using the target we are able to get that particular element so now what i can do here so just try to highlight it so highlight color and we'll send this event dot target okay so event dot target i am using this method highlight target and this method highlight color and this method so we will use function highlight color and we'll get an element node or otherwise element you can also use now here what i can do is node dot i will use the class list class list dot add i will use some highlight color okay some class highlight color that's it so now this one highlight color let's try to write the uh, in the css highlight color and here we can have background color red that's it let's see the output what will happen if you see the output refresh it and when i click on this one see we are able to convert in red color but when i am clicking on this one element and then i am clicking on the second element automatically the previous element has to be converted into the background color so it needs to be uh, the red color has to be removed so then what i need to do here so we need to change the logic so what i can do is let selected element so previously selected element first one will be empty okay and here highlight color is there right if selected element is there so if the selected element is there already is there then selected element i want to class list dot remove i want to remove this color of highlight color i want to remove this class and and afterwards i need to add it to this one and selected element will should be node so i am reassigning this one that's it if you try to see the output now this time you will be able to get the same output so here i am clicking see now we are removing and we are adding so this is how we can do it now there is also one one issue in this one for example let's say that i am clicking on between these two cells i am clicking here okay see the entire table is getting selected okay when i'm clicking on this one it is going away and when i click on this event delegation see event delegation is selecting so this should not happen like this right so this should not happen like this then what we need to do only the td cell needs to be selected so for this one on table click if you try to see okay if you try to see event dot target we got the event dot target right so for this event dot target what i can do if event dot target dot tag name is equal to is equal to td if it is td then only apply this highlight color or otherwise don't do anything so i can use it like this now if you try to see the output so now let's try to click on this one everything is working and here i am clicking nothing is working and in this heading also i am clicking nothing is working but here it is working so this is how we can use a single click event method so using the event delegation so i have used the single click event method instead of using for all the looping over these all elements and applying the click event i have used the event delegation this concept is called as an event delegation so i have made use of this bubbling concept and i have applied only to the single table element so that the tds and all those things whatever the tds has been clicked it will bubble to the parent element so that i am taking care from the parent element so this is how we can uh, this is the this is what about the event delegation concept hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you